Hello all my friends. I have three recipes for you today that you do not want to skip on making. They are easy, quick to pull together, and the most versatile. These are pinwheel recipes that are great for parties. They're great for potlucks. They're great for picnics. They are perfect to put in lunch boxes for tailgating. You fill in the blank. These things are great to bring or they're just great to make up and have at your own home whenever you are wanting a delicious snack. They are perfect any time of year. And like I said, you don't want to miss these three. I've picked out some really good ones and I'm going to show you how to make them here. So let's just get started. And how about we start with the quickest and easiest one of all, and that is this one. Here are the four ingredients you need. You need your tortillas, cream cheese, diced ham, and dill pickles. These are dill pickle pinwheels. These were James's favorites out of all that I made. He loved these the best. Let me tell you, they're quick and easy and so yummy. Let's get started on these. Okay, into my stand mixer, I have the two blocks of softened cream cheese. And a tip is, if you forget to soften it ahead of time, just pop it in the microwave, out of the package, of course, for about 15, 20 seconds, and it'll soften. All right, in go my pickles and my ham. And I'm going to mix this together with the stand mixer. It's going to do the work. This is so super simple. And you're looking at maybe the hardest part of this whole entire recipe, and that's just dividing it out to fill up the tortillas evenly. Not a hard job, so you can just see how easy and quick these are. So once these are all portioned out, I like to try to go to the edge um, of my tortillas. That way I don't have so much left at the end that's not filled. It's easier when you have like a cream cheese filling to kind of get all the way down to the edge. Here they are, and so next I just slice them up as evenly as I could. Now, believe it or not, I made these and took these to a party clear back around the 4th of July. Look at that. These were so delicious. Like I already said, if you like pickles, you will like this one. And I just put it on a little festive plate. These are so versatile. They could be um, a great addition to any type of pitch-in or a tailgate, whatever you would like to bring these to, I'm sure they would be a hit. Next up, we are going to make my personal favorite of the whole bunch, and these were Italian pinwheels. So I'm starting off here with a block of cream cheese, one tablespoon of dry Italian seasoning, I have some tomatoes and some banana peppers going in. Now this is one that you could adjust how you want it. If you don't feel like you would want the peppers, I'm sure you could leave them out, but these peppers, they're not spicy. They're just a little wangy, and honestly, I would not leave those out of this. You can buy the mild ones. If you wanted it to be spicy, you could even buy the spicy ones. So you're gonna mix in all those things with your cream cheese, your tomatoes, your peppers, your um, dry Italian seasoning. Give that a really good mix, and that's gonna be the base for these tortillas. This kind of helps everything else that we're gonna layer on to stay put. my kitchen scissors here and I'm going to layer on just a little bit of romaine lettuce is what I'm using here. Just want a little bit on each tortilla and then I'm going to come in with provolone cheese and then we're going to move on to the meat. Right, 
here we are with some pepperoni. You know it's not going to be an Italian pinwheel without some pepperoni and some salami. I can't go without that. I added in some ham as well and instead of just layering that on I actually kind of cut that up with my kitchen scissors. You know how it comes out of these little packets kind of folded. I just kind of cut that up like you can see kind of spread that out and I think that really made for a nice look once these pinwheels were sliced. You saw the picture and I'm going to show you here again in a second. They just looked so pretty as well. So this worked out really great. Now I want to say as always um, if I've followed a specific recipe I'll have that below and in this case all three of these are down in the description box. Hit the little drop down button and you'll see all the recipes there for you. And always thank you so much for stopping by and watching my videos. It means the world to me. I know it takes time out of your day and I hope it's helpful for you when you are here that you're finding some things that you can incorporate into your meal plan, to your snack time. Um, I hope you're just finding some good things when you're here and that you leave feeling like it was worth your time. And I certainly appreciate every minute that you are here. All right, I kind of rolled these tight, kind of tucked everything in and smushed it all down toward the end as I went along. That way you don't have so much at the end that's just kind of empty. So I got these all rolled up, put these in the fridge and let them kind of hang out for a little while before I slice them and they sliced up very well. These were absolutely delicious. I think these would also be good, just maybe cut in half as a, a wrap, an Italian wrap, I guess. That would also be just perfect. Look at these, so, so good. I'm already planning to make those again. And for the last one, these are called Crunchy Southwest Chicken Pinwheels. My son Gunner loved these. Okay, for my chicken, I already had some seasoned, taco seasoned chicken in my freezer, so I pulled that out. It calls for adding salsa and sour cream. Well, I did not realize all my sour cream was gone. And then instead of salsa, I decided to add fresh tomatoes. So I varied just a little bit from the original recipe in that regard. So you want to just have your chicken seasoned up with your taco seasoning, and then you're going to put that down on your tortillas, now adding in all these wonderful ingredients that make it a Southwest style um, pinwheel. So I've added, instead of the salsa, I've put tomatoes, I've got lettuce on there, and it calls for avocado, which I think was really, really good with this. All the flavors paired really, really well on this pinwheel especially. You could definitely come in with extra things. I don't think it called for cilantro, but I had some and added that. So you could put some of your favorite sort of Southwest or Tex-Mex, um, you know, things that you would like in this. You could also just switch it up that way. Next, I'm gonna go in with some fresh lemon. I think uh, adding some fresh lemon or lime just brightens up um, flavors like this so, so much. I decided to make these and take to our church fellowship meal. So I left out one of the main ingredients from the title. These are called the Crunchy Southwest Chicken Wraps. They called for crushed up tortilla chips to be added into these. And I think that would be so fun to have that crunchy factor. But I knew by the time we would be eating these, the crunch would not no longer be there on those tortilla chips but I want to make these again and add that in I think that would be a fun component to this you could add in tortilla chips or Doritos or um, those little flavored tortilla strips that you get in a bag anything like that to give it a good crunch would be so fun I love the idea of that but like I said I knew mine would no longer be crunchy and I wasn't quite sure how that would taste after they weren't so I left those out but if you're anything like me we are you know soup season is almost up on us and um I like having a sandwich along with soup or a salad, something like that. So I think these are a great alternative, these little pinwheels, to serve when you're making a big pot of soup. To have some of these little pinwheels on the side works so nice for like a soup and sandwich type of situation. And like I said, these are so great to just take to a pitch in and we're, you know, entering into football season as well and it's nice to have little snacks prepared. These pinwheels are perfect for that. So. I hope from these three, something looks good to you that you might want to add in to your menu plan. 
I just cut these up as evenly as I could and moved them directly to my little serving tray here because like I said, I was taking these with us that day and these were a big hit. Everybody really enjoyed them. Like I said, my son Gunner really loved these. He just thought they were great and they really are like a light and refreshing type of taste with all of these flavors in there. And the chicken, really quite a healthy pinwheel as well. How pretty are these? Just put a little cilantro on the side. I hope you have gotten some inspiration today, you guys. Thank you so much, as always, for watching. And I will see you on the next one. Good Lord willing, and the creek don't rise.